Hey folks, welcome to the fourth episode of JavaScript Oops Under the Hood. And in this video, we are going to solve the issues that we discussed in the previous episode. And we are also going to refine our code snippet. And we are going to discuss the benefits of the new keyword. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So uh, in this code snippet, we are uh, declaring a function create customer with properties name, account balance and branch. And inside that function, we are using this object and assigning properties like name, account balance and branch. We'll see how is that working. And on line six, we are going into the prototype property of create customer and adding add money and function balance as a functions. So we'll also have a look at them when we will create our execution context and add them in the global memory. And we are having a customer one uh, const declaration uh, that is calling new customer create customer with arguments alex hundred and xyz. So let's uh, create a global memory and add our variables and functions. We are having create customer, which is a function plus an object too. We have discussed this in the very first video that ob functions in JavaScript are not just functions, but they are a function and object bundle. So we are having this object side of this function as well and in this uh, object by javascript by default add one property that is prototype which is also an object and in this property we are uh, adding two more properties that is add money and fetch balance both of them are functions cool now we are calling line 13 that is customer const customer one so javascript will come to this part and in order to figure out the output of this uh, line javascript has to run this in the execution context so let's create one are having customer one new keyword create customer this is our local memory and in, when a function call happens, the first thing we do is we uh, assign the arguments to the pro uh, parameters. So we are assigning name, the value Alex. We are assigning account balance as 100 and branch as XYZ. This is the first thing that happens. So uh, when we uh, execute this new keyword, this new keyword automates some uh, bunch of functionalities for us. So the first thing is it creates an empty this object for us. So in our local memory, we will be having and this would be an empty object with the label this. And this empty object uh, in this empty object, we are uh, declaring properties name and assigning it them to the parameters. So the this dot name would be Alex. This dot account balance is hundred and branch is X Y Z. Now. The second thing this uh, new keyword automates for us is that uh, when this this empty object uh, this is created, we the uh, JavaScript adds a proto property to this this object, and it uh, automatically adds a reference to the prototype uh, of the function that is uh, after it. So we are having create customer function call after the new keyword. So the proto of this object would point to the prototype of the create customer. This is uh, pretty much related to this object. And the next thing that the new keyword automates is that it uh, it returns uh, the this object. So we'll be having will be returning 
return this automatically so this whole object gets returned to the customer one so customer one will be having name as alex count balance as 100 branch xyz and a proto pointing to this prototype object over here so the moment we uh, run the very next line is customer one dot add money function call so javascript uh, looks for customer one in the in the global memory it finds customer one uh, we are using a dot which, which means we are accessing the properties of the object and in that particular object we are looking for add money javascript doesn't finds it it goes to the proper proto property the proto property takes javascript all the way up to the prototype of the create customer function and in the prototype we find our add money and we execute it so uh, when javascript executes the add money the code is to this dot uh, account balance plus plus so uh, inside the add money function the this keyword is pointing to customer one so um, when in a function call the this uh, keyword we would point to the caller of this function uh, the caller of the function is uh, anything uh, to the left of the dot uh, operator so for add money we have this dot over here and before this dot the customer one is the caller of this uh, function so the caller for this uh, add money would be customer one so this dot account balance is similar to doing customer one dot account balance plus plus which means we are doing 100 plus plus which output would be 101 so the customer one uh, 100 changes to 101 and in the next line we are doing a uh, fetch balance so this is pretty much i think uh, similar to what add one is doing uh, custom, uh, customer one dot fetch balance means we are calling fetch balance uh, in this prototype of create customer and in that the this will again point to the customer one and it will lock the uh, account balance there which is 101 so this dot account balance is similar to doing customer one dot account balance this is the thing this dot account balance is similar to doing customer one dot account balance so yeah uh, this was pretty much stuff uh, for us and one thing uh, uh, we should note that is whenever we calling uh, create customer with a new keyword it is a good practice to have the uh, uh, first letter of the function as capital so as so that the developers can know that uh, this function has to be called uh, with a new keyword it is a kind of uh, common practice uh, among the developers so uh, this is this is the one we should uh, note and yeah i think uh, the uh, overall uh, global memory and the execution context for this example was very very simple and very very neat and clean for us and uh, this uh, also uh, obviously solves our most of the issues and uh, helps us uh, understand how object oriented uh, is working uh, behind the scenes so uh, this was all in this video and see you in the next one